Well, catalytic converter thefts, we were just talking about that in Randy's story, blowing up all across the Houston area. In fact, we've been reporting on them over and over. And uh, the crime that Randy just mentioned is likely what sparked the shooting that killed Deputy Almendarez. Fox 26's Tiffany Justice has also been covering this topic extensively and continues our live team coverage tonight with how lawmakers are planning to crack down on what has become just an out of control problem, Tiffany. All right, Jonathan, a recent bill that took effect September 1st, 2021, increased penalties and also outlined how catalytic converters should be tracked when purchased. But lawmakers are agreeing and saying it's not enough now targeting key players. We've known for months now that it's an epidemic. It's a surge of catalytic converters being stolen. The danger is, is the confrontation as we witnessed last night. Lawmakers now working on new stricter catalytic converter legislation coming down on key players. Senator John Whitmire, chair of the Senate Criminal Justice Committee, telling Fox 26 he's been tasked by the lieutenant governor to hold hearings. We have businesses that buy the stolen property, so I think we've got to pass legislation that says no resale of use catalytic converters. We've got to get the recycling business under control. We've got to get the stores under control and probably talk locally about additional police resources for sting operations. Catalytic converter thefts on the rise. Thieves targeting cars all over the greater Houston area from grocery store parking lots to personal driveways. Officials say thieves are cashing in. In 2020, we had 1,793 stolen in Houston the entire year. In just January and February of this year, we've had 1,974. That's on a pace of about 12,000 this year. For a Toyota Tacoma, those kind, they can get up to $1,500 for each one of those. Then they're going to turn around and sell it for $25 to $3,000. The three important precious metals inside are platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Prices today going for 1,012 per ounce of platinum, 2,548 per ounce of palladium, and 18,900 per ounce for rhodium. Ray Hunt with the Houston Police Officers Union saying there is an elite legal market out there and these stolen converters are being purchased under the table. This is very lucrative. This is organized crime. This isn't some this isn't some crackhead out here stealing it. This is a business for these folks. Now Hunt also tells us to replace these catalytic converters. It could be quite expensive, up to three to five thousand dollars to replace a theft of a catalytic converter. Also is a state felony which could include jail time. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.